In this video, we will cover the main principles of video compression using the popular H.264 AVC codec as an example. A digital image is formed on a monitor using pixels. The color of each pixel is specified using the RGB model, a combination of three primary colors. Each of the three colors has 8 bits of information, which means that 24 bits of information are needed to transmit one pixel. Let's take, as an example, a Full HD resolution image, which is the most wide used and familiar to the user. Without compression, it requires about 50 megabits to transmit such an image. It should be noted that the video consists of a sequence of images. Given the fact that a typical streamed video comprises 25 frames per second, the amount of the transmitted data increases to 1.2 gigabits per second. Without compression, the large-scale transmission of such amount of video data is not possible. The average internet data transfer speed at the end of 2023 was reported at only 85 megabits per second. With the widespread distribution of color television, there was a shift to YCRCB or YUV, a different color space model used for transmission and storage of digital video. This model is based on several components the luminance component, named Y, and two chrominance components, named CR and CB. Each component also comprises 8 bits of information. The YUV model assumes that human perception is less sensitive to color than it is to brightness. The YUV model includes a wide range of chroma subsampling formats. The most common format is 4, 2, 0. This means that the luminance information is transmitted in full, but only half of the color samples are transmitted. Such a conversion leads to irrecoverable data loss, although the human eye does not see the difference. Transferring a full HD 25 frames per second video will require only 600 megabits per second, which is already two times less than in case of using an RGB model but is still too much for organizing a large-scale transmission. Encoders are used to reduce the amount of data while maintaining high video quality. One second of Full HD video compressed by an H.264 AVC encoder will require only 6 to 8 megabits per second, which is 200 times less than an uncompressed RGB model. The core compression principle of any encoder is based on the idea of the video frame's prediction and transferring the difference between the predicted and the original frames. The better the prediction algorithm works, the more efficient the compression process is. We will demonstrate the operation of the AVC encoder using the Alicard Streamy video quality analysis tool. The first stage starts with the partition of the frame into microblocks. For H.264 AVC standard, the maximum macro block size is 16 by 16 pixels. However, complex areas of micro blocks with many details can be further divided into smaller blocks up to 4 by 4 pixels. At the next stage, the encoder forms the predicted frame using two possible types of prediction. Spatial or intra-prediction. Such areas are highlighted in red on the frame. In this type of prediction, the encoder selects the prediction mode for each block and searches similar areas of the neighboring blocks of that frame, to the left and or directly above the predictive block. For 4x4 and 8x8 blocks, 9 intra-prediction modes are available. A DC prediction. In this type of prediction, an arithmetic mean value of neighboring pixels is written to the current block. An angular prediction is built using 8 angles. For 16 by 16 pixels macro blocks, a plain prediction mode is additionally available. In this mode, the predicted pixels are defined by an equation of the plane. The second type of prediction is called temporal or interprediction. In this type of prediction, the encoder looks for a block which is most similar to the current one among neighboring frames. Interprediction might be unidirectional or bidirectional. For unidirectional interprediction, the areas of the preceding frames of the display sequence are taken. The blocks predicted in such a way are highlighted in blue, and the frames used for such prediction are called reference. 
For bidirectional prediction, areas of both preceding and subsequent frames are taken. Such areas are highlighted in green. The reference frames used in the process of interprediction are added into the decoded picture buffer, DPB, as two lists. The zero list contains the preceding frames, and the one list contains the subsequent frames. These frames will be further used by the decoder in the process of decompression. In case the encoder detects that the areas of the frame have little difference with the areas of the previously encoded frames, those macro blocks can be marked as skip. Such areas are not encoded. In that case, the encoder simply indicates the frame number and location. When comparing two consecutive frames, you can see that one frame has shifted comparing to the other frame. In the process of interprediction, the encoder not only searches similar areas in the neighboring frames, but also indicates the block's offset using vectors. Thus, the encoder records the corresponding data to the stream with a redundancy elimination mechanism available for such data. It is assumed that the vectors of closely located blocks are similar, which makes it possible to store not the entire vector, but the difference from the already encoded similar vector. Frames compressed using intra-prediction only are called iframes and are indicated as a red column in the group of pictures structure, GOP. The blue columns represent p-frames, whose blocks are predicted using unidirectional interprediction. The green blocks represent b-frames, containing areas predicted using bidirectional interprediction. In the process of compression, the encoder may reorder the frames. As a result, two sequences are generated, the compression sequence named stream and the playback sequence named display. Frames have different complexity and compression ratio. iframes are larger in size and have higher quality because such frames are used as reference for P and B frames. B frames have the highest compression ratio. B frames increase the image quality and complexity of calculations while maintaining the same bitrate. After the encoder has predicted the frame, it compares the predicted frame with the input frame. The encoder then stores the difference, prediction algorithms, and related data, which is later used to reconstruct the frame. The difference between the predicted and original frames is called residual information. The residual information is represented as an array containing the values of luminance and chrominance components. At the next stage, a spectral discrete cosine Fourier transform is applied to the 4x4 pixel blocks of residual data. It helps to represent residual information blocks as a set of frequencies and a matrix consisting of 16 coefficients. Each coefficient represents a specific spatial frequency. The most important coefficients are located in the upper left corner, and the least significant zeros or values close to zero are located in the lower right corner. To reduce the amount of data, it is necessary to remove the values having little influence on the image quality. In order to achieve this, the values of the matrix are subjected to quantization, a process of division by an integer value named quant. As a result, the matrix contains a large number of zeros and values close to zero. In addition to that, the digit capacity of the coefficients decreases. The encoder discards zero values because they have little effect on the perceived image quality. Such data is lost irretrievably. When compressing an 8-bit video, encoder quantization parameters can take values ranging from 0 to 51. High quant values also lead to significant rounding of the coefficients and having a large amount of zeros and close to zero values. The quantization parameter makes it possible to manage the compression ratio and video quality. At the final stage of encoding, the set of quantized coefficients are entropy encoded. The core principle of this type of encoding is to match the most frequent values in the bitstream with the shortest code word. H264 AVC has two entropy encoding algorithms, CABAC and CAVLC. CABAC has higher efficiency and computational complexity, although it is also supported in main and high profiles only. The decoder performs all operations in reverse order 
and reconstructs the uncompressed YUV frames for the renderer, which converts the YUV back to RGB and displays the image on the screen. The core compression principles described in this video are similar to all encoders. Present-day encoders benefit from more complicated combinations of frame partitioning, larger amount of intra- and inter-predictions and their variations, and more efficient redundancy elimination and filtering mechanisms. The quality of video compression at all stages can be analyzed using Elecart StreamEye Studio. We understand that sometimes you might need help. Elecart has a support team, as well as an engineering team, that can help structure a solution just for you. We can help you with your video analysis needs for projects of any scale and complexity. Thank you for your time.